what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're going to be talking about screen 5 again and just speculating on if in fact we may have our opening kill right in front of us hiding in plain sight now a lot of us already know the cast for those of us who are fans of the franchise and have been following every little bit of news and details that come out about this upcoming series or this upcoming film screen 5 set to come out in january we know we have a young group of supporting cast members joining the fray with Nev Campbell, David Arquette, and Courtney Cox, who have already been confirmed to return and reprise their uh, familiar characters that we already know and love and have grown up with since the original film came out in 1996. So among these new supporting cast members, we have Melissa Barrera and we have Jenna Ortega, who many of us are speculating will be the new final girls or the center of what transpires in this upcoming fifth entry stepping away from the whole sydney prescott marine prescott that whole roberts prescott family dynamic and shifting the ghost face killing spree over to a new family dynamic in this case it being with the carpenters so jen ortega is playing tara carpenter sam carpenter is going to be portrayed by melissa barrera so what we know from the brief synopsis that we've had since i'll say late 2019 or early 2020 we know that a young woman returns to her hometown to investigate a series of vicious crimes this is not referring to sydney the reason i'm confident that it that is not sydney is because of the things that have come out from behind the scenes and the things that we continue to get little by little with some of the passing months that have come on since then it would have just outright named sydney you can just outright name Sydney if it was referring to Sydney too. You don't need to hide that. But it's the fact of the matter that it's not going to be Sydney. Pretty certain this woman that joins her hometown is Sam Carpenter. Now, the opening kill, which many of us are still believing that we'll get an opening kill, I do want to lend more on the side of we'll just have something that is set up to be the next opening kill but it ends up just being an opening attack that's a botched kill attempt we'll have our first opening person who survives the attack once again sub subverting our expectations already by switching up the formula and having the person actually live i think that's what should happen and i hope that's what happens but let's say that this person that's in the opening actually dies many of us have already come to the conclusion that this person that's in the opening and what will bring sam carpenter back to her hometown is her younger sister tara carpenter again played by jenna ortega getting attacked by ghostface at the start of this film we speculated that selena gomez would be right along with her playing a third carpenter sister that we haven't yet found out about because selena gomez's participation would of course be kept a secret and she'll be the one that gets killed in the opening however Let's say Selena Gomez isn't here and Tara Carpenter is the only person in the opening. Some of us have seen the audition tapes. We know that there's clips of other characters talking about the attack that transpires between Tara apparently and Ghostface at some point in the movie. But let's say for whatever reason, Tara Carpenter, Jenna Ortega, we believe she'll make it all the way through to the film because of how long she was on set for. But let's say she actually somehow, shockingly, is our opening kill. We already know from what she stated on the Drew Barrymore show, she's been studying Casey Becker's opening, opening death scene from the original screen film. So what that means to me is that, of course, that lends to us having some knowledge on you being in the opening. That doesn't necessarily mean that you'll die, but let's say that you will. That would be shocking, one, because many of us already assume she'll be joining her sister right along through the thick of things for the majority of the film, and we'll be seeing her interact with her friends, them navigating through these new Woodsboro killings, and it'll ultimately culminate with the two sisters finding out who's been tormenting them and trying to tear them apart along with killing off some of Tara's friends, some of Sam's probably close sentimental relatives to or peers that she left behind in the town because Sam is supposed to be a character returning who left Woodsboro for an unknown reason as of right now, but we'll of course learn that as the film progresses, but these ghost face killings will bring her back. But again, Tara Carpenter actually dying wouldn't be something that should be that hard to imagine considering that again, the way that we are convinced she'll be here through the thick of things she'll be here right along with 
with her sister Sam. They could pull the rug right out from under us and Jenna Ortega could be our opening kill victim. A lot of us listening to this, listening to this video or not, the way it's executed, I still could leave a lot of us shocked. We could go into it very confident that she'll make it out alive only for her to be killed. And that'll be one of the draw, one of the primary reasons that makes Sam come back to Woodsboro, the death of her sister. Not only the attack of her sister, but the ultimate unfortunate death. Jenna Ortega has been talked about as being the new lead girl in this Scream 5 film from the, I believe, babysitter director, the babysitter killer director at one point or another. So all this hype around her involvement in the in the film only for us to have the rug pulled right out from under us and she's the opening kill that's something to keep in mind i think we should all have that in the back of our heads and it's not that far-fetched in ways they are kind of setting her up to be like a drew barrymore where she has all of this um not necessarily i guess the same star power as drew barrymore but she does have that that fan base where we're all rooting for this character and can't wait to see what happens we kind of already have in the an indication that she'll be involved in some type of opening attack but we're all expecting her to make it out alive and be our new sydney prescott in ways but they could again shock us and they could kill her off and she will be the new casey becker quite literally by dying because you're ultimately going to be casey becker by being in the opening sequence anyway you don't necessarily have to die but they could go all go, go all out and they could kill her uh, and again I would much more rather have her just make it out alive because that's subverting our expectations. But at the same time, a lot of us, again, because of the things that they've done, purposely putting out certain leaks and other things that have come out purposely, that's them, again, getting us into the mindset of expecting her to live. And then they're going to subvert it once again by having her die. There's a lot of things I just think it's interesting to keep that in mind. She could be the opening kill. Let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. Do you think Tara Carpenter, Jenna Ortega will be killed at the start of Screen 5? If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification and miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, let me miss any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And also, shout out to Beam Me Up Scotty for putting me on to this theory. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.